something special about this old rogue right here. It really doesn't have anything to do with the bait at all. Reminds me of a day me and my dad fished a lot of team terms together. And as a boy, I fished with him. You know, I rode in the back and he made all the decisions and uh, for many, many years until I got really up into my 20s. And then a switch happened. He became the co-angler and I became kind of the captain of the rig. It was, we shifted roles. He taught me what he could and then now it was time for me to take the reins and lead the way. And it was an interesting dynamic. Super cool the way it all happened, really. And uh, super thankful for it. But I remember one particular tournament that me and him were fishing. And this was early on. I We were now taking my boat. And I was kind of laying the course for the day. And he was being a great partner. And... I watch a lot of people deal with fishing partners and right here's the key to being a number one fishing partner in team tournaments. This particular day, we'd been catching a lot of fish and we headed out in the tournament, an old OBAA back in the day and we headed off down the lake and man, it just wasn't coming together. They weren't biting. I wasn't catching them. And I don't, I think I was catching them on a crankbait at that time. It was in the spring. And my dad was just kind of watching me and not saying a whole lot. Just letting me run my course a little bit. And finally, we hadn't caught a fish yet. And I was starting to unravel. You know how it works. I was starting to fish too fast. I was starting to bounce around. I was starting to fret. And I was starting to worry. I'll never forget my dad. He stopped me there once. And he said, hey. If you go up there, them cedar trees behind Lawrence's Island, and you throw your rogue, you'll catch you a couple. And it was what I needed. He knew we weren't gonna, they weren't going to be big ones, but he knew I needed to get a couple bites and settle down, calm down a little bit, and get this thing. He knew that if I could calm down a little bit, that he had faith in me. He knew I'd get back on track and we'd get to catching fish. So I dug my old deep bill rogue. We threw these a lot back in the day. And man, I headed to those. A little group of cedar trees all by themselves in a little pocket there. Some of you might know where that's at by the reference to Lawrence's Island. That was named after one of my dad's friends. One of the best holes on the whole lake, actually. But this little group of trees was right behind it in a little old pocket. There was like, I don't know, half a dozen cedars all by themselves sitting there. So I fired up my old rig and I drove straight there. He didn't even get up. He just sat there with the net. He sat there, he said, I'm not even going to throw. And I eased up there and I put that old deep bill road beside those cedar trees. Bam, I caught me a Kentucky. Wasn't a big, about 13 inch, I guess. It was big at the time. We got that one in. I threw up there again. I caught me another one. That was the only two bites I got there. But at that point, I went, I know what to do. And I actually ended up catching me and him caught a limit on a rogue, fishing them trees. Saved the day. I, I don't even remember how we finished in that tournament. I know it turned out to be okay. We caught what we needed. We got through the day. And I learned a really great lesson there. Sometimes you just need somebody to say, hey, you know what to do. Just do it. Go right over there. You'll catch one. I got faith in you. I've been really fortunate to have a couple of really great team partners over the years. People that knew how to keep my on the tracks, keep me steady. So, the next time you're with your partner and you see you starting to unravel a little bit, go, hey buddy, 
I bet if you go right over yonder and you do what you know how to do, I got confidence you're gonna catch one. It'll change the day. That's a life lesson for you. It'll help you catch a lot more fish. It'll make your life better. I promise. Be a good partner in everything you do. It'll make it better. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got something from it. And we'll see you next time.